Hey everyone, a new plugin here called Scale Ruler. So we'll go ahead and click and create that. You can see here it represents, like it's called, a ruler in 3D space. So we have the overall length. And you can see as we adjust that value, our measurements units roll out. We'll kind of convert that unit to other unit lengths for those that you might be more familiar with. So you can kind of adjust this until you get the length that you want. Then we also have thickness which in this case is kind of like the height of the ruler itself. We have divisions, which represent the number of ticks you'll see between the start and end. And it kind of subdivides, just like you would see with a turbo smooth. So if we do one, it's going to divide by uh, one segment, and two, it's going to keep subdividing each segment, and so forth. Kind of like you would see, yeah. So the other option here is scale, which is the scale of the tick over time. So each subdivision is smaller and smaller. You can kind of adjust that value to your own liking here. We'll just leave it at 0.75, which is the default. And then we have orientation of the ruler. By default, it's horizontal. You can do vertical as well. And then we have alignment options. So we have left, center, and that works both on the horizontal and vertical. And then we have the right alignment. Um, so you can toggle between those depending on your needs. And then lastly, we have um, the, the units which we've gone over already. We have show size and viewport. So what that does is it shows actual units here in the viewport as you adjust it. And that becomes really useful when you're modeling and you want to see the reference height of an object. So we'll go ahead and create a box. And the nice thing about this is you can snap to this. Uh, which makes it quick and easy to create stuff in 3D if you know the specific heights that you're looking for. So be sure to check out the plugin, let me know your thoughts, and thanks.